Hey guys, it's an awesome cast mini check in here. Uh, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out everything at awesomecast.net. Actually, two stories today that very much kind of connect together. The ongoing battle with Office 60, 365 has been expanding out to so many formats. And of course, uh, I work the uh, kind of Apple version of that with pages, numbers, and, and Keynote. Um, two stories came out. Uh, uh, most recently, there was one, uh, both of these from The Verge, uh, stating uh, Microsoft Office for iOS now supports iCloud storage, which has always been an issue. Uh, you know, they, they did open up with uh, a Dropbox uh, support a few months ago. Uh, but now if you're on iOS device, you can just, if you're still already using iCloud, um, that's tremendous. It, it, you know, you and, and this has been a, a kind of an issue with a lot of these. If I'm going to move to this kind of platform, what am I doing with my storage? Is that going to break kind of my my workflow of where I put things? And maybe I'm already an Apple user and I've been waiting for that new version of, um, you know, Office, which only came out uh, well, late last year, I think, for iOS devices. Um, but also uh, the other news also coming from The Verge is Apple makes um, iWork apps available to users without any Apple service or Apple devices. So this isn't so much a where you put things. I mean, you're still going to have to save everything to iCloud for this. Um, but say if you work in a studio with a bunch of Mac users and you're the sole Windows person or you have Android tablets or something like that, I guess Android is a little less. Yeah, that's probably not so much going to work. Um, but uh, now the barrier here has been you couldn't sign up for an Apple ID without an Apple device, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And actually, now I think about this. Yeah, yeah, without needing your own Mac, iPhone, or iPad. Although I'm sure you had to do it if you bought stuff from iTunes. Now I'm thinking about it. Um, but I guess you don't even need to do that. You can just create through, um, you know, you, you can just create through the site, through iCloud.com from the looks of things. And it does, uh, when you sign up to use iWork for iCloud, um, apps get one gigabyte of free storage. And of course we get free five gigabytes of free storage when we have like an iPhone or something, um, uh, for those devices, which is plenty. If you're just doing documents, it, it has to be right. Um, I, I can't imagine, uh, unless you're a heavy, heavy, heavy power note in our PowerPoint keynote, uh, pages, uh, um, kind of thing. Again, that's pages, that's numbers, that's, that's keynote, uh, which is your word, Excel and PowerPoint, um, similar apps. And, and for the most part, uh, seems to be fairly, fairly compatible. Uh, the biggest issues we've had when I'm bringing PowerPoints over to my Macs for some productions that we've been doing has just been fonts, you know, and some stuff gets a little weird there. So if you've been uh, holding out, if you, you're on Windows and you want to see what the other half is like, and these are the web versions of iWork. These are in browser, uh, and I think still technically, I just had my iCloud up for the last show. Um, still in browser, still, still I think, beta technically uh, versions of this software is, of course, not going to be as fully featured. Just like, you know, if you're using Office 65, those web versions are not quite as full featured as uh, as you're going to get when you actually download to your to your PC a version of Office. Um, and I don't know what the limitations are for, like, say, the iPad version. Um, so, um, but yeah, it, go check it out, iCloud.com, and it looks like you can get in there uh, without much issue there. And it's kind of nice. It is kind of nice um, if, you, if you're living in that ecosystem. So much choice now you can do your documents anywhere um we'll maybe talk about this so many other things we're live.awesomecast.net every uh tuesday night at uh between 6 30 and 7 p.m eastern time you can join us in a live chat room let us know what your awesome thing of the week is be it a story software social media or gadget but just a bunch of geeks geeking out and we absolutely love it uh so go check us next time and uh subscribe to youtube uh and awesome cast on youtube and all the links are at awesomecast.net see you next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com